Hi, I'm Jeff Elder with Avast, and I'm here with researcher Martin Hron. You hacked a smart coffee maker. Why'd you do that? Yeah, actually, to prove the point and to make the point that <coughs> IoT devices nowadays are pretty unsecure, and you can easily do that, which is kind of scary, right? So this is symbolic of the Internet of Things smart devices that are online. If you can get into this, you can get into lots of things. Yeah, that's true, because the IoT devices are usually connected to the home network, and if you compromise the IoT device, if you get onto the IoT device, you can reach out to any other device in your home network, which includes computers and phones, for example. So when we say you hacked it remotely, the yes. way someone could outside your home, you are now able to make this thing do stuff. Yeah, actually I can do whatever I want because I'm able to replace the firmware, which is the software that operates the coffee maker, and I can replace it for whatever I want. So I can add functionality, remove functionality, overcome the security measures that are built in, so I can do anything. Can you show us? Can you, so using your laptop, not touching the device, not using its app, can you do something to it right now? Yeah, sure, because it has open Wi-Fi, I can easily connect to that over the Wi-Fi, and I can make it like a ransomware machine, asking for ransom. So suddenly you can see here on this little screen this angry face that's coming in. It's demanding a ransom. So let's say you're on vacation with your family. All of a sudden, your coffee maker is asking you for money, and you can make it do some dangerous stuff. Yeah, they don't actually, pay. right now, the hotbed down there is heating up. The water is, is. Star, uh, starting to boil inside the water tank, and the grinder will spin up so forever. You can hear it? <laughs> it's coming to life. The coffee maker is getting mad because we haven't paid the ransom, and it can start doing things. So let's say you're not home. You don't pay the ransom. All of a sudden, this thing starts. It's, it's sending hot water down here on the hot burner. You can see the steam happening. So. What do we do? How do we shut this thing down so it the, doesn't actually... The only thing you can do is to unplug the coffee maker. But if you're not home, you can't do that. Exactly. Can you turn it off? I'm getting kind of worried. Not to... Well, machine stop. Okay. <laughs> there we go. feel a little relieved. So that's a great demo. But actually, something even more dangerous could happen that wouldn't make a lot of noise. What would that be? Yeah, and that's exactly the point. These things are not visible usually. You can use the coffee maker as a pivot or as an entry point or a gateway into your network and silently uh, sipping all the data from the network, from computers, from so, so like, like your uh, banking accounts, details, emails, basically all the traffic that goes through your network, uh, you can see. So you don't criminal. even have, have to be connected anymore as a criminal. So the criminal can just set it up exactly. and, and then wait. And what could uh, a homeowner do to make sure this never happened? Take the security seriously and to set up at least the password, to set up the device before you connect it to your home network or at the moment you are connecting the device into your home network, it needs to be set up. So you take it out of the box. Not using the default passwords, not using the default credentials, but always change the username and password. And it's not just this appliance. If you hack this, you could hack the refrigerator, you could hack the microwave. You could hack anything, like a cat food dispenser, whatever. But why this one? Actually, it's about priorities, right? I love coffee, and if I hack this, you won't get this. <laughs> Jeff Elder and Martin Ron with Avast. We'll see you next time.